Hello and welcome to this vMix 21 Features Overview video. If you'd like to upgrade your copy of vMix to vMix 21, simply click the Update Available link that should appear in the bottom left-hand corner of vMix. If you don't see that link, you can download it directly from our website at vmix.com. Click the download link and follow the instructions. Simply install vMix 21 and it will install over the top of your previous version, keeping your settings intact. So let's jump in the new features of vMix 21. It includes professional three-way color correction tools for all of your inputs in vMix. If you've ever done color correction in post-production software, these controls should feel right at home. It provides lift, gamma and gain color wheels and also provides sliders for hue and saturation. This provides a lot of control to adjust the colors of each input in vMix. In addition to that, we've provided professional monitoring tools to assist you in color correction, such as Vectorscope and Waveform monitors. These give you an accurate representation of the colors and exposure in the image, so you can get a perfect image every time. Next in vMix 21 is the ability to customize the inputs displayed in the multi-view output. In previous versions, this was just outputting the inputs based on number, such as the first eight inputs that appear in vMix. Well, now you can customize that order any way you like, and you can also customize it by category. So you could display the first four inputs as the cameras, regardless of where they appear in the input list, and they will be displayed right there. Next in vMix 21 is independent stream control. So vMix has always supported three destinations. Well, now you can start and stop those three destinations independent of one another. So you could be streaming to YouTube and want to do a short stream to, say, Facebook Live uh, to let your Facebook Live viewers know they can catch you over on YouTube. You can also configure separate audio buses on each of those independent streams if you want to do multiple language streams. Next in vMix is the ability to automatically turn off Windows Update while vMix is running. This will prevent updates from updating in the background during long productions. And finally in vMix 21 is key and fill support for supported Blackmagic capture cards. This will allow you to output key and fill over two SDI cables into your traditional broadcast switcher, such as the ATEM, and allow you to use all of the alpha channel features in vMix, such as chroma key and uh, the titles, and also to bring in alpha channel NDI sources from all of those NDI graphic systems. You can bring them now into vMix and then output them to your traditional broadcast switcher. vMix is available in a 60-day trial, so if you haven't tried it out before, you can visit our website at vMix.com and download the full free 60-day trial and discover all of these new features and much, much more. If you've got an older version of vMix, chances are it's a free upgrade. If you want to find out if you've got a free upgrade to vMix 21, click the account link on our website and log in using your license key. It'll tell you if you need to purchase an upgrade or not, but chances are you won't have to. So this has been an overview of some of the new features in, in vMix 21. For a complete in-depth overview of all the new features, you can visit our download page at vMix.com. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix tutorial.